Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Way Back Movies. I'm James and in today's video we are going to do another collection update for everything I picked up for the past week. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the channel. If you are new here and this is your first time, please think about hitting that like and subscribe button. Try to put out videos at least two to three times a week on various movie related topics. Um, I've got a little bit different setup. If you've never been here before, this is a little different setup for me. Uh, I know some of my previous videos had a real bad issue with some uh, audio, like almost like a Rice Krispies, you know, snap, crackle, pop thing happening uh, with the audio. So got a new setup here, a new microphone. Hopefully this works a little bit better and doesn't uh, give you that annoying noise. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a collection update video. Uh, it is everything I picked up for the past week, which uh, is about maybe 10, 10 to 12 different titles. Some of them off of Amazon and some of them I got, uh, I think, a Dollar Tree. Uh, yeah, uh, so some of them were new releases. And I even picked up some DVDs. These are actually DVDs that I can't find on. I think one of them is available on Blu-ray, but I can't. It's not available in the U.S. The other two just aren't straight aren't available on Blu-ray, but they're favorites of mine. So I picked them up. All right, so let's go over those and actually do the DVDs first. Um, this first one, I remember I watched as a kid so many times. I, I've seen this a million times. It's a really cool movie. Um, it's got Henry Thomas, who was in E.T., if you don't know who he is. And that movie is Cloak and Dagger. Um, like I said, I've seen this so many times as a kid. I love this movie. Not available on Blu-ray. I'm kind of hoping they get it on Blu-ray, but so far, not available. Um, it's a really cool movie. It's early 80s. I don't know if this was... Before E.T. or after? I'm guessing probably after. Um, it's basically kind of like a kid spy movie type of thing. Uh, it even includes the Atari 2600 if you're really old. Um, so it's just kind of a, a cool kind of kid's action movie, but not available on Blu-ray, so I picked it up on, um, on DVD. Uh, the next one also is not available on Blu-ray, and the DVD was like $3.50 or something like that, so I grabbed it, and it is... Uh, don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Uh, this has Christina Applegate in it. I think this was kind of like fresh off of her um, Married with Children role, so she was kind of a, a big deal then. Uh, not that she's not a big deal now, but uh, I think that's that's how this kind of came about. This is like early 90s uh, movie. Basically kind of like a like a Home Alone extended version for teenagers. Uh, the, I think the if I can remember correctly, the parents, the mom or something goes away for like a month or something like that during the summer. She hires a babysitter. Babysitter promptly dies, obviously. So they kind of have to take care of themselves for the remainder of the time that the, that the, that the mom is gone. Um, so kind of a cool movie. Uh, like I said, it was $3. I think it was 3 something, maybe like three fifty or something like that. It was under 4 bucks. Um, not available on Blu-ray, unfortunately. I would like to see this one as well, but was able to get it on uh, on DVD. Now, the last DVD I got is available on Blu-ray, but I think it's just uh, a European version, like either European or Australian, I can't remember which. Um, but I didn't see it available in the U.S. on Blu-ray, so I went ahead and picked it up on DVD, and that is Tom Selleck in Runaway. Um, I know this isn't the most popular movie. Uh, it gets a little bit of hate. It's, it's a little campy. Um, but I, I, like I said, it's one of those ones that I saw as a kid, and I really enjoyed it, so I, I, it's another thing I've seen a bunch of times. Um, it's basically Tom Selleck is a cop in the, this like robotics division. It's supposed to kind of take place in the near future, um, where he, he hunts down, you know, people have their own personal, you know, robots and things that do, you know, normal household chores and normal business stuff. And sometimes they go a little haywire and that's where he comes in. Um, I didn't know it at the time when I watched this when I was younger, but the bad guy is played by Gene Simmons of Kiss fame. And he actually does a really cool job. I, I thought, you know, I thought he did a really, really good job at a real creepy looking character. It's kind of a, a cool thing. He's, he's got these, this gun that shoots bullets and the bullets are like almost like DNA seeking bullets. Like they, they're programmed to hunt down one person and the bullets kind of, you know, they can, you know, cut corners and go around until they find the person to, to kill. Like I said, a, a little, a little cheesy, but I, I always enjoyed it. Um, not on Blu-ray here. Uh, and I don't have a, uh, a, uh, all region player so i went ahead and grabbed the, the dvd all right the next one is going to be i got two uh, 4k pickups uh this past week uh the first one is an older one but i would heard really good things about the 4k transfer and that is uh cliffhanger starring uh sylvester stallone uh i have i had seen this movie i think when it came out the first time i don't really remember too much about it 
but I've heard some reviews online that said that the 4K transfer is really good on this one. So I went ahead and decided to pick this up. I think it was like 20 bucks or something like that on Amazon. So I'm going to give that one a shot. Always cool to see uh, really cool movies in 4K. Um, this next one, the movie's been out on 4K for a while, but it just recently came out on uh, Steelbook. This is the Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook for Dread, which I'll get in there. I think is a really really cool looking steel book and it, it, it's even better because it comes with this little slip cover here so there's the just the steel book portion there on the back side but i always like it when they come with these little um with these so you got the info on the back these sleeves because all my steel books i buy the uh, steel book protector sleeves anyway to put on there because i don't want them to get scratched up so when it already comes with one then they you know, hey bonus because it's I mean, they're a dollar per sleeve, but it kind of adds up if you buy a lot of steelbooks. Um, but so, yeah, pick this one up. I uh, haven't watched the 4K yet. Uh, probably do that pretty soon. But the, like I said, the steelbook looked really cool. So I was able to get that. Uh, so those are all the 4Ks I got. Um, I did pick up another steelbook. This one just came out as well. It's uh, Blu-ray, not 4K. And that is the steelbook of Rad. I think I've seen bits and pieces of this movie, but I've never really seen the whole thing, and I don't really remember any of it, so I definitely wanted to check it out. This is the Mondo Steelbook, and they're usually pretty cool. Same thing with the Dread. It's got its own little slipcover there. So I'll show you the... There's the front of the Steelbook. And then you got the back there. Really uh, really cool-looking Steelbook there. Um, this is the, the Blu-ray edition, but... It, I don't even think it had a Blu-ray edition before, or it did. I heard, I think I heard something about it. it had one real, real limited, or maybe even a 4K real limited release, and they're real hard to find. So they, they came out with this one. Um, was I'm glad I was able to add it. Like I said, can't really remember anything about it. I don't think I've seen the whole thing, but I'll go ahead and, and check that out. Plus, the steelbook is pretty cool, so glad I got that one. Uh, this next one I ordered off Amazon because I remember watching these when I was a little bit younger. I think it was early teens. Um, and I had the third one, but not the first two. And this kind of came in a triple feature for $15. So not too shabby. Five bucks a pop. And that is the uh, three Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies. The kind of live action ones. Um, let me see that right there. Like I said, I had I bought the third one I think I found. It, like in like a $5 bin or something like that. But I didn't have the first two. So instead of just buying the other two separately, trying to find them individually, I just went ahead and grabbed all three. Um, it's, it's weird because the third one I wasn't a huge fan of. It's, I think they probably go in order from how I like them. The first one's the best, then two, then three. Um, so I was able to pick up this. Glad I got all three now. Haven't seen the, uh, any of the, the newer ones. I think with Megan Fox was in there. I didn't even check that out. Um, let's see. These next two, well, actually, no, I'll show you this one. This one I also got online. Just took a while because I guess it was back ordered or they didn't have a lot, uh, on Amazon. And that is Mickey Work in The Wrestler. Um, if you've seen some of my other, uh, collection videos, I've picked up wrestling DVDs and, and Blu-rays. Um, so obviously I'm a wrestling fan. Uh, and I thought this was a really cool movie. I think he did a really good job in this one, kind of showing what it's like for kind of a, more of like a has-been wrestler, uh, and, uh, you know, on the independent circuit. So this was a really cool movie. And I think it was, I mean, it was like five or six bucks or something like that. So pretty good deal. Grab that one as well. Um, these next two are going to be ones... Yeah, I got these at uh, Dollar General. Um, I just usually go in there so every once in a while. They don't usually have, they don't change out their movies very often. It seems like it's always the same stuff, but uh, I was able to find a couple that I was kind of interested in. Uh, it helps that they're cheap. This one was three ninety five. It's Rosario Dawson and Catherine Heigl in Unforgettable. Um, I haven't seen this. Looks kind of like a Fatal Attraction-ish type of movie, I'm guessing. Um, but I figured I'd give it a shot. It was only three ninety five, so grab that one and then the other one was definitely a good deal i haven't seen either of these movies um not a huge jason statham fan but i mean he's okay uh this was five dollars and it's the transporter and transporter 2 so hey can't be that it's 250 a movie obviously uh if you do the math on that one can't beat 250 for a movie so i figured i would give these a shot i like action movies so um like i said haven't seen either one yet but uh be sure to check those out all right, and the last ones here are going to be TV series uh, that I picked up recently. I found this one on Amazon for, I want to say it was $30, I think it was Amazon, 
I can't remember anymore. I ordered so many movies. Um, and that is the complete collection of that 70s show on Blu-ray. Um, this is, this actually has the individual uh, cases here which I like instead of the one giant case. I'm not going to go into the whole spiel about why I don't, um, but I was happy that they're individual cases. Uh, it is two seasons per per case on the inside. I do have the one complaint. It's got, it's basically on, it's a four disc, I think on, in, on each case here. And the discs are just stacked on top of each other. Uh, there's like two on one side, two on the other, which I, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of, but um, it's better than some of those cheap, flimsy, just supersized cases that they have. So, um, like I said, this was a good price. Uh, always liked this show, so I went ahead and grabbed the, uh, the the series on there. And the last ones I got are just a continuation of picking up the first season of it. And that is a really funny show I love, and it's How I Met Your Mother. Like I said, I had the first season, so I was able to pick up season two. Picked up season three. And then season four. Uh, these are kind of cool. They're they're fairly cheap. They're I think they're around like nine or ten dollars for each season. And like I said, if you've seen any of my videos, I hate the huge, you know, collection sets. And for some reason, it seems like if the the bigger the case gets for the movie, like the bigger the outer case, the cheaper. It, the, it's like it's the same amount of plastic. They just kind of stretch it out a little bit. It's the, the cheaper they get, the easier they break. Not that these things don't break pretty easy. These aren't the, the best, but I think it's less, it's more likely on the bigger ones. They seem to break and fall apart and all that kind of thing. And it's a lot easier to replace something that's $10 than something that's like $50. So uh, anyway, that's everything I picked up for this week. Um, I've actually already got some stuff coming in um, for next week. Uh, new releases come out. This video is a little bit late because I, I just got the, the new microphone and everything in, like I was saying before. So I wanted to, to use this instead. Hopefully the audio is, is a little bit better. I apologize for the other videos with the little like pop, 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 pop every once in a while. Not really sure why I did that, but um, hopefully this this helps it. But like I said, I've got, I've got some stuff coming in. Uh, I've ordered some stuff off of Disney that I'm waiting for. Soul, I ordered that. That's coming in. Uh, horror pack. I already got the email that says the horror pack has been sent out, so that should be coming pretty soon. Not sure if that'll be in the next video. Uh, obviously, the horror pack. I kind of do my own videos for that, so a separate opening, and we can kind of see together exactly what we get in that. Um, so that'll be coming. So definitely some more stuff that's coming. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.